looking for new sales leads, managing existing customer relationships or deciding which companies to invest in all take a lot of time and research. The information we need is often siloed, tucked away in different parts of our business or online. That's where machine learning and artificial intelligence come in. They're changing the way that sales, and marketing and finance teams do their jobs, according to my guest today. He's Bastian Janmart, Chief Executive and Co-Founder of DataFox Intelligence, which helps clients access the right insights to find and win more business. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Bastian, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Thank you for having me, Sarah. So how are machine learning and artificial intelligence helping sales teams, marketing teams? Why do they need AI? Well, I think we've all felt the explosion in data around us. A lot of information is out there. Information should be a good thing. It should help us make more informed decisions, but too much of it harms productivity and it comes at a cost. We've heard businesses tell us that when they don't get their arms around the information they need, they're leaving 30% of potential revenues on the table, if not more. And so what are the insights, the information that I need to decide if I want to partner with a company, maybe have them as a, a customer or to invest in them? Yeah, I mean, people at the top of their field, they, whether they work in sales or marketing or investing, they know they need deep insight into the, the businesses, the companies they're trying to build relationships with. And it has to go beyond surface level things like where the business is located, what industry they're in. You want to know what products they're releasing. Are they expanding geographically? Where are they taking their business? Who are they hiring? Uh, and all of those pieces of information, they're held in disparate places. It's difficult to tie that all together. And once companies have a company as their customer, a lot of them do keep customer relationship management information, so they have that, but it's often siloed, difficult to cross-reference or, or access. But you have the answer to this, don't you? We do. Yeah, it's a big problem because every business has a CRM. It's where they store information about their customers and potential customers. And it could be a spreadsheet, it could be a piece of software, but um, almost all businesses struggle with this because information is siloed, it's stale, it's difficult to keep up to date. So we're pioneering what we call CRM orchestration. We tie all of those databases together, we connect the dots, and we supplement that with millions of data points that we've sourced externally. So people get to make truly informed decisions. And people want to know the bottom line always, don't they? Have you been able to quantify how much you boost your customers' growth or save them money? We have, yeah. It, it, we've seen that customers can almost double their sales pipeline in a matter of months when they apply this technology. But I think what's even more exciting than that is to see the breadth of businesses that we can support. It ranges from early adopting, forward thinking technology companies all the way through to very large enterprises. We work with UPS, with Visa, with Pinterest, and so they've quickly come to see a return on the investment they're making in AI and in CRM orchestration. And as you say, you have partnered with some big companies and you yourselves have seen phenomenal growth in the past year or so. Do you think you've really hit on something that people need? We have. We've, we've grown our revenues 150% year over year, but that only happens on the back of our customers' success, right? It's only because our customers are seeing uh, real leaps forward in how they're able to identify their ideal customer from a data-driven standpoint. They're able to find more customers that match that profile. Their sales and marketing teams are better aligned. They're closing bigger deals. They're allocating their resources more effectively. So it's because they're seeing results. And just on a practical level, how do people see and use this information? Is it on a dashboard? Is it, is it in the cloud? People need it at their fingertips. So the short answer is wherever. What we've seen is that people are no longer looking to log into a database to pull information out. They need insights pushed to them. And that's why we've integrated with Salesforce, with Marketo, we have a Chrome extension. We integrated with, recently with Slack, the business messaging app, and we have a powerful API so we can basically send our insights into any workflow. And obviously companies can find all of this information themselves. It's all online, it's all publicly available. Why should they pay you to access it? It'd be tough for them. It's, uh, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. And uh, it's not just about finding a data point or the right data point. What we do is we actually identify the patterns and the, the second derivative on top of all of those data sources and the information they al already had internally. We're really connecting the dots for them. So you're really helping sales teams, which are often quite junior, aren't they? Maybe it's often their first job out of school. Maybe they don't get the training that they should. So how does this help them? 
Well, what's exciting is that we get to help people at every level of an organization or a company. Obviously, the leaders of a company, the executives, they want to see that we're helping them grow their business at the top line. But yeah, recent or new team members, junior sales reps, they come into work in the morning and when they get an email or a notification from us that says, hey Sarah, focus on these opportunities today, here's why, and this is how you can get your job done today, they're hitting their quota, they're happy, and they're no longer flying blind. And what would you say to companies that think, no, we'll do it the old way, we'll use the sort of knowledge and experience of our sales teams? I'd say I, I fear for them. They're going to get left behind. AI has entered the workplace. It's definitely here to stay. And uh, the companies that will win in their industries are those that are going to be able to make better decisions faster. Well, Bastian, thank you very much for that. Thank you for having me. And remember to join us next time when we'll be discussing the latest innovations in developments in digital banking and also MBA education. Bye-bye for now.